Is everyone ready? Let's get ready for chemistry! Ah! Today we're going to talk about how to solve a Hess's Law problem. I'm going to be working practice for practice 6.9. Here's the problem. I'm going to start the problem off by copying the problem down exactly as is written on my paper. I'm going to use a squiggly pretty line, like the kind of line a fifth grader, fifth grade girl, would doodle on her notebook, okay, to separate that from the rest of the work. Uh, this is my question mark. That is actually a question mark. I know it's hard to tell because I had the issues. And then I've copied down what I'm looking for. I'm going to copy down the rest of it right underneath it right here. with the delta H's I'm going to try to line up all of the arrows I'll explain why I'm doing that in a little bit but see how I'm lining up all the arrows? Arrowed! Alright, I've got all the reactions copied down what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to go fish. When you do a puzzle, you piece together all of the puzzle pieces, they all fit together and they make a picture. I'm going to do the same exact thing with Hess's Law. I'm going to go fish for all of the corner pieces, because that's the easiest part first, right? I'm going to find all the corner pieces and put the corners together and then I'll build inward from there. So I'm going to start with the easiest stuff first and then I'm going to do harder stuff after that. I want this, this equation, I'm going to piece this together from this information down here. For example, I need to know in O, I need three nitrogen oxides on the right side. Okay, three nitrogen monoxides on the right side. I need one nitrogen dioxide on the left side. I need one dinitrogen monoxide on the left side. And where am I going to get that from? The only place to find a nitrogen, a dinitrogen monoxide, is right here. Nowhere else in these equations do you find an N2O. Just right here. So I know this is going to be my source of N2O. So what I'm going to do and I'll do this in a different color to make it more obvious. I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this match this. I'm going to make this N2O match this one. One of the properties of enthalpies is that it is an extensive property. So two N2Os running this reaction is going to give me negative 163.2 kilojoules. If I have half of that, I'm going to get half the heat. So I'm going to rewrite that equation. N2O makes, and then whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Okay, so if I have a one half of this, I've got to have half of that and half of that. So an N2 plus a one half O2, the delta H for this reaction is going to be negative 163.2, half of that, negative 81.6 kilojoules. Now here's the part that's really important. I am going to put a line through what I just did to cross it out and make sure that I understand that that cannot be used later on. I've got it in 2O. It's on the proper side. It has the proper number in front of it. I win. I found that one. The next thing I'm going to go looking for is I can either go look for the NO2 next or I can look for the NO next. Now, everybody's good at procrastinating, and that skill is going to come in handy here. Because just like balancing, we can save the most difficult compound for last. So, the NO is actually here and here. It's in two different places. So, how do I manipulate these equations so that they give me three NOs on the right side? Well, that's too much trouble. It's easier 
to go find the NO2 and match that up because the NO2 is only in one place. So the nitrogen monoxide is more complicated, so I'm going to save that for last. I'm actually going to cross my fingers and hope that that works itself out on its own, and it will. One of the properties of enthalpy is that it is equal but opposite for reverse reactions. So if I make NO2 and release 113.1 kilojoules of heat, if I take this reaction and I write it backwards, instead of releasing 113.1 kilojoules, it's going to absorb 113.1 kilojoules. So writing this reaction backwards, 2NO2s makes O2 plus 2NOs. And the delta H for this reaction, instead of being negative 113.1, is now positive 113.1. And I've changed it. I'm going to put a line through it. That gives me an NO2 on the left side. That gives me an NO2. It matches up the side, but it doesn't match up the coefficient. The coefficient here is 1. The coefficient here is 2. I need to match up the coefficients now. How do I do that? Well, there's a 2 here. There's a 1 there. How do I turn the 2 into a 1? What number do I multiply this by to turn the 2 into a 1? And that's 1 half. So if I multiply this whole thing by 1 half, whatever I do to the equation, I've got to do to the delta H. So NO2 makes 1 half O2 plus NO, and the delta H for this is now a positive 113.1 divided by 2, and now a positive 56.55 kilojoules. And I've changed this equation, so I'm going to put a line through it. That gives me an NO2 on the proper side. Now, I have the NO2. I'm going to hope that the NOs work themselves out. If they don't work themselves out, then I will do something to them at that point to work them out. However, let's hope for the best. I have an N2 here. The N2 doesn't appear in the original equation, so it had better go away. And look, my N2 here cancels with my N2 there. Yay! I have an O2 here. The O2 doesn't appear in the original equation, so it had better go away. I have an O2 here. I have half of an O2 here and half of an O2 here. The O2 on the left cancels out with the two halves of an O2 on the right. A half of an O2 plus a half of an O2 makes a whole O2, which is cancels out with the whole O2 on that side. So net, no O2s. Now, I've got an N2O, that belongs there. I have an NO2, that belongs there. Good, they're on the proper side with the proper number in front of them. I have two NOs here and one NO there. That gives me a total of three NOs on the right, my NO2 on the left, my N2O on the left, and this matches with that. Yay! It's like magic! Or possibly voodoo, but not voodoo because voodoo is bad, so magic! So if I have 182.6 minus 81.6 plus 56.55, the delta H for this reaction is a positive 157 point, and lining up my decimals, I only get to keep the tenths place, six kilojoules. So once you add up the equations, and the equations add up to give you the reaction you were looking for, then you add up the delta H's, and the delta H's add up to give you the delta H that you were looking for. So that's how you do a Hess's Law problem. Let's do another one. Let's do four more practice. All right, I'm again, I'm going to start the problem off by copying down exactly what they gave me. Three H2 plus O zone makes three H2O. And I want to know what this delta H of the reaction is. That is a much better question mark. I've been practicing since you last saw me. 
Squiggly Pretty My Little Ponies line, okay? The reason for that is so that I don't get this equation confused with the work below it and add this equation into that stuff. That'd be bad. My little pony, my little pony. Do they still sing the My Little Pony song in the My Little Ponies nowadays? I don't even know. I only pretend to care about My Little Pony. I apologize to all of the people who actually like My Little Pony. With the creepy purple pony who uses superpowers on people. Alright, I've copied down the reactions like they belong, and I'm going to go fishing! I'm going to go fishing for... I don't know. What's easy? I'll go fishing for hydrogen! Fishing for hydrogen. Here's my hydrogen. There it is. Okay, that's a three. That's a two. The two needs to be a three. How do I turn the two into a three? That's right. I multiply it by three halves. The two on top cancels with the two on the bottom, giving me a three on top, and it becomes a three, and yay. And whatever I do to the equation, I need to do to the delta H. So because it's an extensive property, because enthalpy is an extensive property, whatever I multiply the equation by, I multiply the same thing by the delta H, 3H2 plus 3 halves of an O2 is going to make 3H2O. Delta H for this reaction is 483.6 times 3 divided by 2. The delta H for this reaction is now negative 725.4 kilojoules. Putting a line through the problem, cross it out. I've changed it. That gives me my H2 in the proper place on the proper side. But look! That also gives me my H2O in the proper place on the right side with the right coefficient in front of it. Yay! Free stuff. Whatever you call it when it's free, when it does that. Okay. The next thing I need to find is I need to find my ozone. Right now, the ozone is on the wrong side. So because enthalpy is equal but opposite for reverse reactions, if I write this reaction backwards, the sine of the delta H, the delta H is going to be exactly what it was before, except opposite. And I've changed that equation, so I'm going to put a line through it. Now, the ozone is on the proper side, except that the number in front of it is wrong. So how do I get the 2 to become a 1? I will multiply it by 1 half. That gives me 3 halves of an oxygen over here. Delta H equals 285.4 divided by 2 is negative 142.7 kilojoules. Put a line through it because I've changed it. That gives me my ozone on the proper side. Ozone on the proper side. And now I have the H2, I have the ozone, I have the H2O. I'm going to add up these equations to make sure I've done it right. Yada, yada, yada. Three H2s. Plus three halves of an the, the half, three halves of an O2 doesn't belong. This had better cancel with someone. If I've done it right, it'll cancel. And oh look, three halves of an O2 here, three halves of an O2 here, and this is why I lined up the arrows because the three halves of an O2 on the left cancel with the three halves of an O2 on the right. Yay! An O3 on the left arrow gives me 3H2O on the right. And this equation matches this equation. And in fact, let's add some smiley faces, right, and maybe a little heart going along with our My Little Pony Pretty Arrow theme. Maybe a Justin Bieber. Okay. Delta H equals... Oh, we missed the important part. Once we've got our equation, and the equations add up to give us the equation we wanted, right, happy equation, we need, a del we need to add up the delta H's. So 
and 25.4 is negative, minus 142.7 is negative 868.1 kilojoules. And so the delta H for this reaction is negative 868.1 kilojoules. And then we'll put little My Little Pony, the, the pony, see, it's got a tail, right, and then some legs. It's a pony! Get over it! My Little Pony, My Little Pony, ah, oh, My Little Pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My Little Pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And that's